Happy holidays, everyone. My name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a Santa hat. And welcome to Naughty or Nice. This year, we're taking a look at 12 Nerf and foam flinging related items that I have never looked at on my channel. And we're going to tell you, are they naughty or are they nice? These videos will not be posted daily, rather every other day leading up to Christmas. And in between those, I will have a short featuring highlights from the previous video. As you can see, I've got 12 gifts wrapped under the tree. Let's get into it. Day one. Where, where is the day one? It's right in front of me. Dear current beret, this is past beret. If you are reading this, we've almost made it through 2022. This is from what's left of the TikTok money. Don't drink the eggnog. Thank you, BZ. Apologies in advance if your comment doesn't get read. I actually got more than I was expecting, so I had to randomize a bit. Oh, good. We're starting off with Elite 2.0. Elite 2.0 Jolt Reskin. What a thing. Ooh, boy. Have I never actually used this blaster? Have I ever actually held this blaster? Gotta love the open front facing packaging. Yeah. Whoa, that exploded. Yep, that's a Jolt. It's the Nerf Elite 2.0 Ace SD-1, featuring the blaster itself and two Elite Darts. It's the newest literal jolt reskin on the market that isn't a microshot tie-in. Retailing for about $5, but depending on where you look, it might be closer to like $350. There's really nothing too complex about the Ace. In fact, the only thing that really makes sense is to compare it to an original Jolt. It is not a Microshot Blaster, there is no tie-in, it is just an Elite 2.0 Jolt of sorts, but there are some pretty clear differences. Uh, there have been other versions of the Jolts, obviously, this one now having a dart holder on the top, but it does seem to work pretty well as a dart holder. And for me, if you're going to shoot a dart, then grab another one off the top. I actually think the dart placement is pretty good. The original Jolt obviously having nothing, but there have been other versions with dart holders on the side. And you see something like the X-Shot Menace, which has like two little dart holders right here. They're sideways, so you do have to pull them out and put them in. So the Ace has a pretty good dart placement on the top. You can see the trigger well on the Ace is much bigger than the Jolt, but then you can see that the Jolt has a little bit more room for your hand, whereas the Ace flares up a little bit sooner. But that being said, the Jolt is also not known for being the most comfortable blaster ever. These are pretty sharp. That's pretty thin and narrow. The Ace has a lot more real estate that is a lot more smooth. This one, I would say, is more comfortable to hold. Bang, bang, bang. Also, the Jolt, when I pull the trigger, there's like no response. The Ace has a little bit more of a click to it. If you compare it to something like the X-Shot Menace, well, the Menace is obviously going to be a bit longer. The Prime is at the back, not through the handle. And with the handle on the Menace being so small, Oh wait, no, the, the handles are like the same size. The problem is you can't wrap around underneath on the Ace because that's where the Prime is versus the, uh, the Menace comes out the back. So you could actually just make a fist around that one and it wouldn't impede with the functionality. The Menace can also take half darts without any modification like so, which is pretty cool and a nice feature in case you didn't know. The Jolt and the Ace, of course, cannot do it without any modification. Nope. Just a lot more bulk overall on the Ace, which in some cases is good, and in other cases it's like, eh, that might not be too comfortable. Like you can see, this ridge might get a little bit uncomfortable on your hand, whereas the Jolt has nothing. So certainly some pros and cons when you compare these two. So now we must ask ourselves, the Elite 2.0 Ace, is it naughty or is it nice? Well, the most modern era jolt with no strings attached, I think it's actually kind of nice. 
I don't know if I would gravitate towards it over a standard Jolt, but if they were on the store shelves at the same price, I wouldn't be too offended. It's also hard to find Jolts for that price point if you look on store shelves now or even online. And Micro Shots are $10 plus. So yeah, you can get two of those for the price of one Micro Shot. And some Micro Shots are going to be more comfortable than others. At least with that, you know exactly what you get. And there are party packs that also make them more affordable if you want to get a plethora of them without breaking your budget. But hey, that's the cheapest thing we got on our list. There's still quite a few more to look at.